best macho me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't think I know that answer, uh, the answer to that question. But I can tell you this, that I have been through so many of the coffee shops here. I would say all the food here tastes just as good. Um, I would also say that one of the, my favorite stalls here is actually this dark rice store in front of me. Yeah. I deserve very good dark rice. In fact, we just distributed about 100 packets. After I tasted the food there, I said, well, we must let more of the residents try the food here. I know one, one little corner over at uh, Block 108. Uh, it's a very cozy little place uh, where I think a lot of elderly folks actually hang out in the evening. Uh, but it's also very idyllic for couples to actually go there because it's got a very cool and nice um, atmosphere because it's just right uh, next to uh, a small little park. And that's also where some of the folks here actually grow some of their plants. Yeah. From my walks here, people are worried about losing the character and identity of Potong Pasir, that kampung spirit that they've been talking about. They are afraid that it may slip away, especially since this ward has been lost to um, a ro the ruling party. Because for the last 27 years before the last election, uh, the people here were rather united under the leadership of Mr. Cham Si Tong and they were very uh, impressed with the way he has delivered his services to the people. And they tell me that until today, they still have very high, high regards for Mr. Chiang. And they look forward to someone who can actually do what Mr. Chiang has been doing. So for Potom Pase, I would say that um, things are beginning to appear to me to be um, coming to a point where people are ready to opt for a different voice, a different person to lead them in this war. And after speaking to so many of them, I believe they feel comfortable with my presence and they have actually encouraged me to come here to give them that option. Having studied um, how things work in Singapore for political parties here and knowing many of the people who are from the different parties, I have more or less come to the conclusion that the problems that existed in the party that I was with um, are present as well in all the other parties. And there's no point for me to join another party when I will probably be facing the same kind of problems. And so I decided that perhaps with uh, an independent candidate um, position, I may be able to exercise my, my so-called potential in a better way and I will be able to better serve the people without being restrained by internal politics. I can speak as I feel is right in accordance with my own political ideology.